Hey guys, it's Matt, and welcome to this bank video. So for today, I'm going to show you how my bank has changed from July until now. A lot has changed, as you can tell by the title and by the thumbnail. Uh, but the difference between this video and the last video is that I'm actually going to tell you how I made my gold. You know, there are some legitimate methods in here, and then there are some methods that, you know, you guys might frown upon. But I'm going to be honest with you, and I'm going to show you how my bank was made. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Let's dive right into it. If you do enjoy this video, and also if you want to see another video today, please be sure to give this video a like as well as a comment. Wow, I can't even talk today. Like and comment if you want another video later today, either a shenanigans video or a PK video. I'm not sure what I want to make, but, you know, if you guys want it, then just let me know. Anyway, let's dive right into the bank. And then at the end, I'm going to show you how much it is and how I made it. All right, so this is just a, the whole tab, but let's dive right into the PK tab. This is the welfare setup tab uh, where I have my PK sets, where I have basically items that I PK with, to be honest with you. Uh, we have some Berserker Helms. We have some Rune. Got some uh, Coils. Got some Rock Tails. Got some Flask. Nice sexual flasks here. Uh, got some regular potions, you know. You know, if I don't feel like using flasks, I'll use these. I got my Catech Mall and of course my Rapier, got my runes. I put my Venge runes in this tab so that it's just easy to get to. Um, my other runes are in my Mage tab and Range tab, which is right here. Um, of course, I got some Phoenix necklaces that were PK'd, you know, some random welfare that I don't use, D skimmies, some DDSs, Varrock tabs, of course, you know how these are used. Um, and that's where the glories end up in Varrock, you know that. Uh, got some Barrows gloves, got the recover specials in here because you know what? If I need to recover some special. I'm gonna go and do it. Uh, Royal, Rock Tail, Rock Shell, rather, um, and some other random assorted stuff. I got a Supreme Salvation Aura because I wanted some wings. I didn't want the Corruption Aura, which is the red wings. I wanted the white wings, the angelic wings. I wanted them. I got 149 condom shields. Uh, yes, I do collect them, so yes, that's how I have them. All right, let's go into the Mage tab. Uh, this really is nothing that I really use, honestly. I, have, I don't really hybrid, as you know. I'm not that very good at it. And I don't plan on really learning unless the PJ timer comes back. Uh, so we have Mystic's top and bottoms, and we got Farsia helmets, and we got some Enchanted robes, and more Mystic, and Dagonoth, and some runes that I use on occasions. Barraging, and stuff, and bolts, got Brack Metal bolts, Diamond bolts, Ruby bolts, Dragon bolts, and some other arrows that you guys don't really give two shits about. Uh, this is just some other uh, Herblore stuff, um, Herblore, uh, the extreme attacks that I made, of course, to get my overloads and magics and defenses and strengths, and then I finished it off and I blew a lot of gold doing extreme ranging potions. Yeah, I was a bit lazy to get overloads, but I did it, and I don't really use them, so I don't know why I did that. <laughs> We're going to skip this tab, because that's the tab you all want to see. Uh, let's go to the Squeal of Fortune tab. Yay, the Squeal of Fortune. Nobody gives two shits about that. Oh, no, they really do. All right, so we have a uh, Summer Sun Ring. Uh, looks like a giant... Uh, looks like a turkey that's yellow, but it also looks like a condom. All right, uh, we have Pendant Attack. Pendant of Attack, Pendant of Slaying, Pendant of Prayer, Pendant of Fletching, Thievery. And I got some Queen's Guard and good old beautiful stuff here. Uh, these Alchemist Amulet Fragments that are completely useless. But you know what, I'll just keep them in my bank. I'm still waiting to win the boots, the Dragon Ceremonial boots. I have not won them yet. I want to change this into a purple outfit. I like purple over this red crap. I, don't, I'm, I just like the color purple for... I'll tell you the reason why in a minute. Um... When I get to this tab, oh, oh. Uh, we got <laughs> ice cream cone hat, uh, fish mask. I like to keep it in this tab because it is Squill of Fortune and I'm keeping it. You know, they're going to be rares one day because that's what Jagex said. And I won these yesterday. I don't even know what the hell they're used for. Seaside rocks. All right, so um, F2P tab. Uh, pff, what else? Uh, all right, so yeah, this is if I ever go P F2P PKing, I use this and... Yeah, I don't really go that often, but I have a corrupt bat uh, D battle X and comes in handy. Hit now, boom! Two something, two fifties, two eighties, three something. Really cool, good stuff. All right, so this is some other random crap that I still have to clean out. A lot of stuff like random crap I have to clean out. Um, don't even know how I got that. Starved ancient effigies. I have a Darox axe in here. Um, I sold a lot of the stuff I PK'd because it's just taking up too much bank space. I don't normally do that, but I just did. I got a full Slayer helmet, because I slay. I got to make a Slayer tab. I didn't get a chance to do it yet. Uh, but anyway, 
Let's show you what you all want to see. I don't believe you that you have a huge bank. All right, so that's my bank. Oh, look at all those items. All right, no, nobody gives a crap. Actually, you guys do because you want to know how I made it. All right, so let's take out the coins. Uh, should have, I should have kept one coin in there. All right, so I'll just take out all the valuables, um, and we will add them up uh, to prove that I have some nice, lovely, doubly golds. Um, all right, so I got 12 whips. Of course, I've had this third age, third age range stuff because you know I just like the way it looks, and you know I'm probably not going to be able to wear it to come the evolution of combat. So once they announce it, I'm gonna sell it because I know it's gonna probably crash. Maybe not crash, but it's gonna go down in price because. Nobody's going to want to wear it, because, you know, Zerkers wear it, and it looks sexual. Uh, Alright, still got a Santa hat. Got some other stuff. Got some party hat, of course, you guys see that. Uh, you know what, I'm going to leave the fire cape in there, it's not anything of value. Um, that, okay, and I'm going to take two other items out, because these items are more valuable. I already come to that conclusion. Uh, and... Actually, I need to put one of the items back. I'll put that back. And I'm going to put that back into uh, this tab. Alright, and I'm going to use these coins here. Alright. Wait, no. I'm not going to do the price checker. Just going to withdraw the money pouch. Alright, so. These are all my items. Of course, I got some infinity. Got some archer ring, claws, the Vesta. I still have not used this, but I have used other sets that uh, I had. I have a Santa still, got all this other stuff, a Vesta long, Vesta long that's degraded, but I'm still going to count it because it is part of my bank, and it was no, it was non-degraded at one point in its existence. So, uh, alright, so let's show you the bank. You guys are like, alright, fuck you talking, let's go. Alright, uh, 1,506,379,841 coins, that's 1.5 billion carried wealth. Now, if you know what, you're like, oh, the degraded doesn't count, my friend, uh, then... You know, we'll just minus 40-something mil from that, and then add the other banks, other items that are in my bank that probably add up to about 40 mil. So we're still at right around 1.5 bill uh, bank, and uh, yeah, that that's my bank. Uh, and a lot, a lot has changed for me to get to that. Now let me explain how I got there, because you guys are like, all right, Matt, what the hell, man? You Your bank was like 500 mil, now it's 1.5. What the heck happened? All right, so I've made a list here. Of all the items, all the stuff that I've done. So here's the list. Untitled.notepad. Okay, 200 mil downed from Torver downed. Uh, that is... Let me move the list over here for a second. Because it's just distracting me. 200 mil from downing Sitar. Okay, uh, Softpill and I downed them for Torva. He challenged us to a 2v1. You guys all know this from the Torva downed video. And... Uh, we downed them, okay? If we didn't down them, it wouldn't have been in the video, but we downed them and we decided to upload it, so to, to, to disclose any of you guys, yeah, you guys got a donated shout-out. No, okay? He didn't expect anything. He challenged us to a 2v1. We downed them for 200 mil each, and that's that's what happened there. I made 150 mil from risk fights, you know, risking claws, risking other stuff, AGSs and stuff like that. Um, and other assorted stuff over the past two months. You, know, you guys have seen some nice kills that I've gotten, and, you know, I've made some good money. 100 mil from Strategic Peking. Now, what does that mean? Uh, basically, I am a pro eater, as you know. <laughs> I know that's not honorable, but I'm a pro eater. I basically also I don't really DM that much unless we call for a DM. I risk fights are always DMs. Uh, but, you know, strategic peking, you know, if you're going out there for the sport, then die honorably, okay? But if you're going out there to make money, you know, you're going to make more money if you strategically PK, meaning that if you want to get kills and you're not winning the fight, you get out of the fight by running away or by tellying, you know, it's up to you. If you want to str PK strategically for gold, go for it. It's perfectly fine by me because I do it. If you don't and you want to be honorable and you want to be uh, a DMer, I have all the respect for you in the world, and I actually appreciate people who, who stay to the end against me. That's really nice and honorable. I got a lot of respect for you. Um, so 100 mil made from strategic PKing, 50 mil made from the Arquark FC. I made, I started that yesterday. I learned it. Um, from Desecrator and also from another video, Jezza Killer made a video on Arquark French chat, uh, flipping rares. Um, 
made some good gold with that. Um, so if you want to know how that's done, uh, there's going to be a form thread quick find code in the description, two quick find codes, and also the video from Jezekiel that'll tell you how to make money from flipping rares. So, I mean, uh, you don't have to be flipping party hats. You could be flipping Santas and green Halloween masks. And I know a lot of you guys don't have that much gold, so it's really not the best method. Um, but this next method probably will help you out as well. Um, so I made 200 mil from Sitar's French chat. I'm going to be very blunt with you and tell you exactly how it's done. I'm going to speak very quickly. Uh, please write some notes down. Okay, so Sitar basically does an event once per week called a GE slash market buyout. What exactly is that, Matt? What the fuck? All right, so basically he manipulates the Grand Exchange. Certain items in the Grand Exchange are getting bought out every week, and I'm sure you guys have noticed this, like Armadale God Swords and Rock Tails and Dragon Bones, and you're like, why the heck are they going up and down, up and down? It's basically basic economics. Basically basic, blah, blah, blah. basically blah, blah, blah. basic economics, everybody. Basic economics. Supply and demand. We're going to get an education here today. If there's not that much of one item, the price of that item is going to go up. So, if Sitar has 5,000 Armadale God Swords, nobody else has them, or very few people have Armadale God Swords. So the price of those items are going to go super high. All right. So how do you make gold? He can't buy all those armadillo god swords at the same time. He can only buy 10 for every 4 hours. So what he does is he has his friends chat go out and buy them for him for him. And what he does is pay 5 to 10% above mid. So he'll pick items that are buying for mid or slightly above mid or slightly below mid and he'll pay 5 to 10% above mid for those same items. So let's say you buy an Armadillo Godsword for 18 mil. He will buy that Armadillo Godsword for 18.5 to 19 mil. Now, he will only do that when he is doing his Grand Exchange slash Market Buyout. Don't just go after this video and buy Armadillo Godswords and trade it to him. He's not going to do it, okay? He only does it when he does his Market Buyout. All right? That's how I made my gold. And I just stayed in his French chat and he did it. I took 200 mil in PKing donations, and when I say PKing donations, I mean like Vesta sets, Stadius, uh, Warhammers, uh, Vesta long swords, like these, like this one's degraded. I'm going to be using this one and this one to finish them up. Um, I want to provide great content for you, great commentaries and stuff like that. I have a bank now, so I really don't need any more gold, uh, but previously I didn't have that much. And those of you that wanted to see high-risk commentaries, I was kind of struggling to maintain a bank. Um, these these people actually decided, you know, Matt, I want to see you use a Vesta, so here here's one. Use it, please. Use it. Don't don't ask any questions. And I got to give you guys uh, some respect there and props for that. Um, really, guys, just the fact that you guys watch my content is really enough. I, I got to just say that I, I love the fact that you guys come out every day and watch my content it, it just it makes my day it really does and if you guys don't like me you know what it's okay I have a lot of haters I have people that love me it's all good I like everybody you know even if you like some of my content you don't like the other parts of my content it's all that matters anyway I really really hope you enjoyed watching this bank video I hope you got some good feedback out of it good stuff out of it hope you can use some of it to make some gold for yourselves uh, if you again if you want to see another video today I have some shenanigans clips I want to put together in a video but I don't want to put it up if you don't want it if you like this video and you want it let me know all right have a good one guys and peace out